pretty good for me, actually. I'm gonna try to back off with my Blade Master since he's pretty low. Maybe get another Hex off. Kill that. Kill some skeletons for more experience. Gosh, it's not very uh, entertaining when you're not doing anything. Okay, so that was a pretty good hit for me. Um, I wasn't paying attention, so I got a lot of gold saved up. Really bad for me there. Trying to commentate and do all this stuff at the same time. It's a little difficult. Um, I am going to build, get my spirit walkers going. Everything's really behind, as you can tell. If you're, if you're actually going on this website at WC Replays, you could probably tell how far behind I am. Now running all the way back to your base generally isn't that great of an idea um, if you don't have to do it, but since I have to do it, <laughs> that's what I'm going to end up doing. This is pretty good. I'm, look I'm feeling pretty confident about this actually. Um, to seal the deal, I'm going to go ahead and clear this expansion in the top left here. Um, thinking behind that is, you know, I can start just almost A attacking to do it. Uh, I even forgot to research Berserker uh, Strength Upgrade. You want to do that usually right as you hit tier 2. So I got my spirit, first Spirit Walker out, got my first Raider out, and Snare's researching. I'm doing pretty good. I always switch my uh, Spirit Walkers to Corporal form just to start, um, <clears throat> just to start uh, so they can attack the units. Try to bring back the weak grunts so they're not taking too much damage. Get that Tome of Strength on my Blade Master. Now I went in a level 2 Wind Walk. This is something I learned from my game with Red Means Dead. Is I actually went, I used to go level two critical strike all the time. So I'm hoping this level one or level two win walk ends up helping me out a lot. Um, just a new way to do things. All right, I'm gonna start running back. I should have already sent a peon to start expanding, but I forgot to do that. Uh, got just enough resources to do it. Doing pretty good. I'm gonna buy some more healing pots, and then I'm gonna go off to hit him again. Uh, I don't have my war mill like I said I was going to build, so that puts my Kodo production out. I always like to get at least one Kodo. Um, if I was to play a mirror match, I, I saw Grubby doing this, and he would get one... Um, he'd get one uh, Witch Doctor in Orc Mirror, so I was trying to do that in my games with Red Means Dead, but it didn't work out too hot. I'm going to switch this Pennant of Energy to my Shadow Hunter, um, so he can have some more manas. Get some more Clarity Pots. See if I can put those clarity pots on my Shadow Hunter. There we go. Uh, also, I would like to get some type of invulnerability uh, potion on my Shadow Hunter, but I'm just going to hit at this point. See if I can catch him creeping something, which would be really nice. Uh, I could get some really good creep jacks going on here. Generally, what you want to do, and what I've seen in replays, and I'm not doing this as a good example, but uh, you want to send your Blade Master on. Oh, I just got scouted with. Uh, with the um, goblin laboratory, so maybe he's at this goblin laboratory. No, nope, he must be at the other one. Um, but that's okay. I'll hit him at his base now. I got pillage research, so this is going to be real nice. Take out the spirit tower first, see how that works out. Oh, he's got two spirit towers there. Alright, speed scroll. I'm just going to take out that spear walker, get out and get better positioning. Alright, now I'm in a good position to fight. Bring everything back. Try to not hit the ones that are that, and micro my weak units back. This is good, he's targeting my grunts with his heroes instead of uh, my units, so I can just kind of play a little bit defensively here. Again, using hex whenever I can. I'm not doing too hot here. Let's see if I can take out some of his statues because those are a pain in the butt. Alright, I am going to TP out now. Okay, that didn't too bad. Didn't lose too many units. Uh, I got level 4 on my Blade Master. Uh, I didn't lose any units, I don't think. Did I? I wasn't paying attention enough. Didn't use Windwalk uh, too much on my Blade Master, so that was uh, a mistake, obviously. Um, put that Clarity Pot there. Maybe buy a, buy a Heal Pot for each of my heroes, in case gotta worry about hero focus. My expansion's almost done, so that's gonna be nice. What I'm gonna do is build a second uh, Beastiary, so I can maybe make a switch up to Wyverns. 
or just in case I lose a bunch of units, I don't have to worry about uh, quickly replacing them. And I'm gonna buy a mana pot on my Shadow Hunter as well. Just to keep things rolling along. And we'll go for. Oh, I forgot to buy some. This is hard to do a commentary <laughs> while I'm actually playing the game, but maybe it helps you guys to be able to hear things from the player's perspective that actually playing it. Maybe I'll do a commentary on this afterwards, too, just to kind of give it some perspective. Alright, bought some heal pots. I need to make some peons on my expansion, so let me do that. And this should be great. Got another spirit walker in my army. I want to get one more raider and then I'll have my full kind of force group going. Oh, a uh, mistake here is that I'm bursting into upkeep at this moment, but I'm not really bursting into it because I don't have all my production buildings up. What I'd like to do is if I had enough resources, I would just make a whole bunch of units right now and really try to max my upkeep. So I'm going to build another burrow so I can try to get as high into the upkeep as I can. Um, now that I have my expansion going, that'll help anyway. Um, I should be scouting out my opponent too. I don't know if he's got an expansion at this point or not. Uh, if I were him, I would. Um, but let's just try attacking these ziggurats, keep his unit production down. Uh, he's sending an acolyte out there that I saw. Alright, I'm gonna run away. See if I can get some surrounds off on his. Maybe kill this hero here. I'm not forced to TP, that's okay too. Alright, got some more raiders coming my way. My Kodo. Let's go see if that Acolyte actually ended up making an expansion over here. Oh, he hasn't started building it yet, but that's okay. We'll stop that in its tracks. Again, trying to make as many units as I can, keep that rolling. Uh, and here's my two raiders coming on their way. Alright, so this Kodo is going to help versus those abominations. So excuse me for being silent. Try to make this uh, get off what I can. since my resources are all crap. And that's game. <laughs> well, so much for that. During the big fights I ended up being silent, but that's good. I think I, I got a good basic on where I'm where I'm at now as a player. And we'll see how that works out. Uh, and this was really kind of a crummy audio, so I don't know if I'll make it an audio. But uh, game versus undead level three. <laughs> Not that impressive. But I did want to keep playing some more 1v1s. So that would mean I've played three 1v1s today, which is more than I've played in a long time. Playing three dodos is not uncommon for me. Uh, unfortunately, so I'm trying to steer away from that. I'm not really happy with the newer versions of Dota, and I'm getting a little bored of it. So I'm trying to get back to uh, Warcraft 3. I think there's some there's some more for me there. Um, I haven't made a Dota guide in a while too, so maybe I'll have to work on that. But we have have an audio on the front page of WC Replace for a while, so um, we're actually kind of lacking a little bit in production. You know, all the audio commentators and me in particular. So uh, I figured. I'm overdue for an audio, might as well try to get one out here. Hopefully this works for you guys. Uh, in fact, uh, since I just played the game, let me go ahead and, and watch the game as a replay, as a, and we'll um, 
we'll sync up and we'll be able to analyze that game 